Hi guys, welcome to Raw Online. So today we are going to deal with uh, one of the most commonest uh, infection and the uh, case related diagnosis. So I will show you the particular case and I will show you the related images. With that I have a set of questions like uh, we can answer the particular question one by one. So let us go into the topic now. So this is a case study. So here like we are going to have a 56 year old male and who is a known case of diabetic with recent HbA1c of 11.2. So, HbA1c of 11.2, so it's going to be a case of poorly controlled type 2 diabetes mellitus. And now, he present to the outpatient department with the complaint of cough with the blood in the sputum for 2 days. So, he is also having hematosis, which is the presence of blood in the sputum. And previous history of pulmonary tuberculosis was present for which the patient have undergone ADD treatment. So, that is going to be anti-tubercular treatment. Anti-tubercular treatment or therapy. And he have completed the course one year back. And initial radiological test was ordered and the sputum specimen was subjected to the potassium hydroxide examination. KOH examination. So, with this like we will see the radiological finding and potassium hydroxide mount finding. So now you are able to see the chest x-ray of the particular patient and here there is going to be the involvement of left upper lobe where you are able to see the lesion and it is going to be a case of uh, cavity where you are able to see the lesion. So here the patient has the past history of uh, cavitatory tuberculosis in the past for which the patient have taken treatment one year back. So, moreover like it is a case of uh, cavity in which the particular organism have grown. So, any idea what is this lesion guys? So, it is a case of probably aspergilloma. So, how I came to the diagnosis? So, the patient have history of TB in the past and the patient is going to have uh, cough with the presence of uh, the particular blood in the sputum and the patient is also going to have the history of tuberculosis and the, probably it may be an cavitatory lesion and now the patient is going to present to us with these kind of clinical manifestation and so it's a probably a case of aspergilloma by seeing the probable chest x-ray. Now with this like the patient's sputum specimen was sent to microbiological analysis and potassium hydroxide wet mount was carried out. Now we will see the finding in the potassium hydroxide wet mount.